know it's cold out there, but it is so pretty, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what sunshine does to the psyche. When you yeah. see that sun, you just think, ah. it's beautiful, right? Yeah. Yes, it's been cold today. Temperature struggled. We ended up at 40 degrees, which is well below our average of 53 degrees. This is up at Cache Valley, Utah State University. Sun setting over the Wellsville Mountains on what has been a very chilly day up in Logan as their temperatures never broke out of the 30s. They were stuck there all day long. Here's our sunset in downtown Salt Lake City. Equally as pretty, skies have cleared. We had a few clouds that kind of came and went today, but it was sure nice. Uh, temperatures struggling across the entire state. Everyone was below normal, compliments of our most recent storm that came in and kind of dropped in some cold air behind it. And the good news is it's not going to last long. As we roll into the weekend, things are changing. Speaking of things changing, how about St. George, Eldon Griffin sending the shot in? Yeah, the blossoms on the trees, they're already started. It is so amazing how quickly St. George can get those blossoms, get the flowers coming out of the ground. Eldon, thank you for sending in your picture. If you've been to Southern Utah lately, you know it's a pretty time of year. Here's your weekend recreation outlook for the ski area. Saturday, abundant sunshine, but chilly 30s. The Mirror Lake Highway area, you end a same story. Moab and Arches will be in the 50s. Skyline Drive in the 30s with sunshine with Bryce Canyon in the 40s and Zion in the 60s. We'll keep it about the same for temperatures during the uh, Sunday time frame. A little bump up in places like the ski areas and over towards Moab, but we'll also bring in a few more clouds across the area. Area. So look for those increasing clouds, especially in the afternoon on Sunday. Looks like a great weekend to get out and enjoy whatever you have planned. Our current temperature is 36 in Logan, 38 in Vernal. Salt Lake City's holding at 38 as well. We're in the 40s in Fillmore, 38 in Cedar City, 56 in St. George, with 40s over in Elko and Ely. But clear skies across the region. We had those few clouds today, but big area of high pressure building in over California and Nevada. That's causing these storms to just go way north around that big dominant high. This is actually going to track across the area over the next two days. It brings us abundant sunshine on Saturday, but it also moves so quick, we're actually going to open the door to some cloud cover and some approaching storms as we head through early next week. So thicker cloud cover on Sunday night by Monday, this little front goes by pretty weak, but a little valley rain chance and some mountain snow on Monday afternoon, and then a more organized storm will get here Tuesday into Wednesday, bringing another round of potential precipitation. So your central forecast for uh, Saturday, 48 in Nephi and Manti, sunny skies, 52 in Richfield, Green River goes to 56 in the afternoon. Moab tops out in the mid-50s, Hanksville in the mid-50s, Kanab in upper 50s with St. George in the 60s, seven-day forecast. Mid-60s turn to upper 60s, average this time of the year is 66, and we'll stay there all the way through Tuesday. Thick cloud cover Tuesday and then a slight drop in temperatures. I don't have the Tuesday storm bringing rain to St. George, but we do have a little cool down as we head on through Wednesday and Thursday. As we go to northern Utah this evening, still chilly. 11 in Heber City, 15 in Logan, 20 in Tremonton. Highs tomorrow will bump up a little bit. 53 in Salt Lake, 51 degrees in Sandy, 52 in Provo. And we'll get a little bit warmer on Sunday. In fact, we'll hit 60 in Salt Lake. Little south breeze will pick up in the afternoon on Sunday. Most of the day mostly sunny, but thicker clouds by evening. And then a 30% chance of some rain showers Monday. A better chance on Tuesday and Wednesday as we once again drop down into the 40s. I guess that's what March is all about, right? Up and down, <laughs> Up and so down. a little bit of everything. But yeah, the days like this make it all doable. Yeah, soak it in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right, coming up here.